What's up guys, Josh with CrossFit Bro Bridge and CrossFit St. Landry. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of quadratus lumborum restoration today. Had a question from somebody uh, yesterday having some pretty serious back pain almost into the ribs and on upon touching it, it felt like a statue. So we need to get in here and we need to peel away some of this fascia, we need to restore the movement in that lumbar spine and this is how we're gonna do it. So I'm not gonna do the whole thing, I'm just gonna show you the technique and then you can do the whole thing on your own. So, what we wanna get is one of these uh, battle star, I think it is, balls. This one's super aggressive. If this is too much for you, uh, we'll start with just a lacrosse ball. What we wanna do is get this ball right to the bottom of the ribs right here. And your uh, QL is this, it's your back hamstring, all right? It's the big, uh, the big back slab right there that helps keep your back and lumbar curve whenever you're doing squats, front squats, um, and it helps maintain spinal alignment. So what we're gonna do is smash that thing down, and then we're gonna smash out, all right? So part of what we're doing is digging into the muscle itself trying to get that thing to release and then the other thing we're trying to do is actually separate the fascia the fascia layers from the muscle so we get a little bit more movement in there all right so we're going to get the ball right up under that oh jesus right up under that rib give yourself a couple seconds to kind of sink in there and then all we're going to do with a slam ball and i grabbed the 30 i wish i would have grabbed the 20 and we're gonna rest it right up on top where we have that ball, all right? So while we're smashing the QL with the ball on our belly, we're actually getting a little bit into our uh, rectus abdominis as well. A lot of times we don't take very good care of our abdominals. Um, people trying to build a six pack and doing a million uh, sit ups and stuff and all that shit gets tacked down in there. So that's not very good either. Now, look, the method we want to use on here, once we've gotten kind of settled in, you probably want to bend your knees. What we want to do is take a big deep breath, and in that deep breath, we're going to flex. You're going to push into the ball. So, diaphragm breathing, pulling that diaphragm down, lungs full of air. Two, three, and then breathe out for eight. Good, so big deep breath in the diaphragm, letting that ball smash you between uh, top and bottom. Hold that breath, squeeze tight, push into it, and then breathe out for an A count. Okay, then every time you do this, I want you to have four spots. I want you to move down about the length of a vertebrae, about an inch and a half, two inches. And we're gonna hit that next spot. We're gonna go all the way down the right. Then we're gonna go over all the way down the left. Now your ending point is gonna be the attachment of the QL to the pelvis. So, we're gonna be about right here. Same technique. Not on the bone, guys. Right above it. Big deep breath. Hold. Two, three. Breathe out for eight. Then at the bottom, we're actually gonna work our way out to the side. So, we're gonna roll from middle to outside and try and free that thing up. Once you get supple, you can bring it up a little bit and you can do the same thing through the middle and try to spread those tissues out and see if that doesn't free up some movement back there, give you some relief uh, if you're having any pain or you're having any difficult difficulty maintaining uh, lumbar curve or maintaining midline stability throughout your movement. This is a big area that we overlook. So you guys go ahead and take care of your QL. Um, this one's specifically for Shay.